please explain what you think happened. Let's start at the top. Let's just start. Let's start and say what it is. Anthony Davis didn't show up to play, but they're big and Sabonis did. You know, that, 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 that's where you start at. Not, not to mention what Fox was able to do and Darren Fox was able to do to us. So he shot at 30, what did he shoot at? 39, 30, 32 times he put it in the air and he knocked down 19 of those yep. shots. Yep. So when you look at the Sabonis situation with the triple-double, he cleaned the glass on us. He had a total of 20 rebounds. All right, defensively, he has 16 of those rebounds on the defensive end, so we were not able to even get the second shot opportunities. Now when you say you flip the AD, and it, it, look, this is what we talked about all year long. The Lakers are going to go as far as AD. LeBron going to be LeBron. This ain't about LeBron. LeBron did his work. He had 13 assists. He scored 30-plus points. I mean, he did so he his... He played pretty well. He I played agree. well. He did his yeah. job. But then everybody else has <clears throat> to chip in. We got nothing out of the bench. Rui played extremely well. He knocked down 20-plus points. So all of those things happening to you against this team that have, has, what, what has it been, uh, seven of the last eight, I think it is, that they've beaten the Lakers? Seven of the yep. last eight that they've beaten the Lakers prior to this game. You have no answers for them. You have no answers for De'Aaron Fox. As I said to you before, we talked about D'Angelo Russell. Up and down, up and down. Well, he was down yesterday. He was. He put it in the air ten times. He only knocked down three shots. He didn't, from, for it to be our point guard, he really didn't give us any help from an assist standpoint. We already know what he is defensively. He's not a liability to the degree where he shouldn't be on the floor, but he didn't help at all. So when you start to break everything down, you know, I know people looking at, well, LeBron left. Well, LeBron left the game. It was over with. They was down by 14 points. His ankle was hurting. He made a decision. Yeah, it's just over. Let me. I, I'd, I'd rather just go in before something else seriously happens in this situation. Still sitting in the tenth spot. Got a, a, a nice stretch coming up. Uh, eight games. The next four. We got the Bucks, the Timberwolves, uh, the Kings again at Sacramento. Then we play the Golden State Warriors, who just smashed uh, the Milwaukee Bucks last night by thirty-five. By thirty-five. Then we got the Hawks, <clears throat> the Sixers, the Pacers. And then the Bucks again on the road. So if we could be above 500 in them games, then we're going to be okay. Anything less than above 500 in them games, I think it's going to be yeah. real tough. You've now fallen to the 10th spot. The 10th spot. You are 34 and 30, so you're just keeping your head just above water, just above 500. Keyshawn, I've been doing this for a long time, and I don't know. I've been racking my brain this morning. I can't remember a team that I had more respect for that can be more wildly inconsistent than this team can be. And we hark back to LeBron's famous or infamous quote of a couple, three weeks ago. On any given night, we can beat any team in this league. On any given night, we can lose to any team in this league. I feel like the Lakers are the classic are we there yet team because they keep saying, are we there yet? Did we, did we do enough? Are we good? Now, now can the playoffs start? No, not yet. Not yet. We still got a good ways to go. And even last night was a microcosm of are we there yet? So they came out and they flexed for me because the Kings have had their number. As we discussed yesterday, as you say, it had been six out of seven. They had beaten them three straight here in L.A. Now it's four straight. But the three straight, at some point, as you well know from your playing days, finally your pride kicks in. You say, okay, that's enough of that. And I thought early on, silly me, I thought that's what we were witnessing. I thought LeBron and company just said, okay, that's enough of this. 32 to 18 late in the first quarter. And it was a tour de force of Laker basketball where everything was clicking the way we've seen it click against good teams before, such as the Thunder. Now we got some rock, paper, scissors going on in the West because the, the Lakers can just dominate the Thunder. They're pretty good against Minnesota, who lost Carl Anthony Towns for the rest of the year, so maybe they'll start to struggle a little bit. But the point is, Denver still owns the Lakers in close games, but Sacramento owns the Lakers in blowout. They, they just wiped the Lakers off the floor. 
the, the, the Sacramento Kings are treating the Lakers like they're the Wizards or the Pistons. Seriously. They just come out and say, ah, oh, this is ridiculous. We got this. And to your point, AD was, he, he came out with some energy, some fire, but they, this team is the classic fire and fall back, fire and fall back. So at 32 to 18, they're all having a good time. They're yucking it up. They're having little yucks on the bench. And then all of a sudden, Sacramento says, really? Well, watch this. And I want to make one quick point. I said yesterday, sitting right here, Austin Reeves has been at least playing his tail off on the defensive end. Is he, is he great on it? No, he's not great. But he will give you all he's got. He did actually a quietly sensational job on De'Aaron Fox. You can laugh if you want, but go look what happened. The first nine minutes of the game, De'Aaron Fox did not score a single point because Austin Reeves took him, as I suggested he should try to do, and shut him down until Austin got sub four at the nine, well, the three minute mark of the first quarter. So with three minutes left, Austin goes out. And in comes Christy and, and uh, Prince came in. I, I'm not sure who took De'Aaron at that point. De'Aaron promptly scores bang, 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 three straight buckets. And all of a sudden, the second quarter starts. And to your point, they are off to the freaking races, man. They are going to run the Lakers out of their building. The, the score, as you know, in the second quarter alone was 44 to 20. But I'm, I'm looking at these shooting numbers. It wasn't just De'Aaron Fox. who no, does Malik Monk. Hey, my God, ex-Laker, you know, once upon a time, he was your guy. Yeah, I, he was, but even when he was our guy. He, he wasn't was your guy. Okay. guy. okay, that's how many times have we said that? And then Davion Mitchell, who I loved at Baylor because he plays both ways. He plays hard defense, but he has got his stroke going, so he makes, in the second quarter, he makes all three of his threes. Well, those three we just mentioned, those three guards, go 14 of 17 from the floor, and they go six out of seven from three in a quarter, mm -hmm. in one quarter. Well, that's a good game, right? That, that's like, well, if, if, if you're going to get hit between the eyes with that kind of onslaught from three guards, three shooters in the second quarter, you're going to get wiped off your own floor. Because I think you would agree by halftime, you may have just called it a night, but, but if they're down 15. Did well, 15, you really, you, 15, you, you could erase that you, you, fast. You, you can, but did you really? I just didn't feel it last night. It just feels like they just got smashed in the mouth and they couldn't get back up well, off the floor. I go to, again, I, you know, I don't want to be the guy that blame yeah. Anthony Davis, okay, because that, right. but I go to that. Because when my big is not crashing the board, I, the I can't way, defend him. I the same way that their yeah. big is crashing yeah. boards, and we're not defending him. Yeah, that, I have an issue. I take issue with that. I'm not the coach. I don't know what they told him and rebounds yeah. or what to do and, and how the rotation should go. Austin Reeves at the beginning of the game, you say played well. De'Aaron Fox missed the shots or wasn't taking shots or whatever the case is. Then all of a sudden he subs out. Three minute mark, he gets. Cooking now, but now, but quick point of order: When Austin came back in the game and tried to guard Deer in the second quarter, he had no chance. Yes, just I was, I was going to okay, say, yes, Skip. Okay, it ain't nine minutes. No, it's four it, quarters. It's four quarters, and, and I so, agree. But, but he was, he, you, you only have so much, so much energy in your body. I understand. He, he was playing as hard as he could play, I, yeah, I get and he, it. he started looking gassed. No, to I me. get it yeah. because you're going up against a different type of athlete. You're not. You, you're going up against a different type. And you're going up against a lefty. He's so a when lefty. you when it, when you are used to going up against righties, yeah. sometimes that could, you know, from a defensive standpoint, you're off a little bit. And, and that I, could I be agree. very because it's not that many lefties. It's almost yeah. like having a left-hand quarterback or a left punt, left foot punter punting the football. The rotation looks different. Yeah. Right? You you you're used to closing this totally way, and all agree. of a sudden you gotta close totally with agree. a totally different hand. Totally. So agree. sometimes when you see lefties, they can get the best of you because you don't, you just don't see them all the time. There's still no excuse. Um, Rui played well. LeBron played well. Again, we didn't get anything out of D'Lo, Dinwiddie, Christie. All it's just like in the past, those guys when we played OKC, everybody played well. Agreed. But we also went up against a smaller lineup. This lineup is not much bigger, but they're a little bit longer, just a little bit. But in the end, it is what it is. The Lakers got to bounce back against the Bucks tomorrow night. And if they could do that, the, based on the way the Bucks played, I'm sure they're going to come with the uh, uh, fire blowing out of their nose. They will. You know, I'm sure of that. They will. And hopefully LeBron can play in the game and 
we don't get off to a 02 on this home stretch. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to show you exactly what happened in the second quarter because I'm going to show you if you can stomach it, if you can relive it. I'm going to show you 18 makes out of 20 shots in the second quarter because for some reason the Lakers played decent defense in the first quarter and then here comes Malik Monk. And then here we go again and then here we go again and too many now, people standing around. Aaron Fox is there they just, they just standing around. Group. And nobody, everybody's standing watching, around. watching. Let's just watch them. Let's not get back. Let's give up our dunks. Let's give up our threes. Let's give up another dunk. This is a clinic. Sabonis, Davion. <laughs> I, I mean, Herder didn't even have much of a game last night, but he usually kills you. Now, De'Aaron is on fire. De'Aaron is on fire. And I think we're getting close to De'Aaron again. Nobody can guard him. And Mike Brown doesn't get enough Malik, credit. If Mike Brown yeah. doesn't get enough credit as a coach yeah, this to is make just the right the, adjustments. We're, we're watching the second quarter. We just saw the second quarter. Yeah. That's true. Mike Brown is a very good basketball very coach. Good. He, he, he get discredited because he coached with LeBron. And when you coach with LeBron, a lot of the credit going to go to LeBron, even though he's had mild success yeah. without LeBron. I mean, he's a really good basketball coach. And yeah. then he goes to Golden State. He takes over Steve Kerr. He goes, whatever, undefeated in that little stretch that yeah. he had. So he hadn't gotten the credit that he deserves. But I'm going to give him, as they say, I'm going to give him his flowers because yeah. he's done a tremendous job since taking over in Sacramento. Okay. I concur. Now, you brought up LeBron walking off the floor with just under four minutes left. They're down 122 to 108. It's over. I don't have any problem with him taking himself out, but I don't love it because he's done this routinely in his career. His damn ankles yeah. is hurt. So okay, but wait a second. He walks all the way from the far corner, past the bench, all the way to the locker room. Yeah. Just go sit down with your team. Don't you leave can't. your team. Don't you go. Can't. Yes, you can. No, you, yes, you can't. Can. Can. Don't leave them your, your twisting ankle, in the wind. Your don't do it. Your ankle is throbbing. Okay, he you didn't turn get, it, though. He didn't get, turn it. I don't know what he, he turned it. or what yeah. he did. Well, he didn't turn his ankle. He didn't feel good. Yeah. Okay. It's okay for him. It, yeah. He's not playing. Okay. I don't need to sit there. While my ankle is throbbing. But don't disassociate yourself He's from not, the stench. Don't don't stop. keep up. If you're the leader of the team, go sit with stop, the team. Skip. You just should. You oh, know it and I man, know it. No. You know it and I no, know I've it. I've been hurt before. You have to. I've been hurt before in you games. You have to. And the game was over with. At least I thought the game was over with. I wound up going into the locker room yeah. because I wasn't going to stand on the sideline. But, but you're hurt. The, he's hurt, okay, too. He's That's hurt, why he's he took himself This off. is a chronic ankle that he plays with. He'll play on Friday night. He said after the game, yeah, I'm going to be all right. Yes, but when it is hurting and it is throbbing, it does not feel good. Okay, but it, again, it doesn't require immediate attention because he, he's been treating it and treat, treats it every day and every night. The game's okay? over. Okay, yeah, it Without is. Without him on the floor, okay. it's a wrap. Okay, but he, it's such a melodramatic walk-off. Like, don't don't look at me. I got nothing to do with this. I'm gone. You are unbelievable. No, man. no. Well, you're unbelievable if you How can defend you, that. How I'm can you defend, defend that? It because you shouldn't. If the you game know, is over, of hearts, you if the can't game is it. over. I don't need to sit there until there's zeros on the clock with everybody rushing off the court and me gingerly Oh, you think they're going, in a court storm? No, not court storm, <laughs> but all the players and everybody got to go yeah. in the tunnel. I don't need yeah. that. The game's over. By the time yeah. I get actually to it's the locker, yeah. the game's over with. There's yeah. no coming back. I can't help you. What am I going to do? They call a timeout. I'm going to still be sitting on the bench. You want me to stand up I mean, and clap? What? I don't understand. That's dry. Like, e even if you do... He's damned if he damned if he do, damned if he don't with you. No, he if wouldn't. If he has some, not, not with me, if with he, anybody. If he sits well, well, and he on, has a, a, a piece of fruit on the bench, no. Oh, that's a problem. No. If he has some popcorn on the bench, oh, no. that's a problem. You, you know and I know. Just just walk over and sit down and be with your you teammates. You cannot. You're hurting. You all got destroyed. You no, all got destroyed. You, you think he's trying to separate himself. He's separating. Everybody's yeah. seen it. He yeah. scored. The dude scored 31 points. He did. Man. He had 13 well, assists. That. Okay, yeah. he, he shot the ball, he was 10 or 16. Why does he need, he, he doesn't need to prove anything. Like, it's drama king stuff, where you, you're going to melodramatically walk off. Don't, he, don't, he, don't he associate me with this. No, no, no I, that's I've not, it, he's associated with it because he was on the floor yeah. for the majority of the game. He was. So we all know what was that his he, he plays. Plus minus, I didn't even look. Three. 
Three. No, well, not bad. Three. Okay. Minus three. Yeah. He played 36 minutes. Yep. He played 36 minutes with a bum ankle. Yeah. Like, I don't well, understand. He's been, play, he's been playing for weeks. I, really, I, I, he's been I, I, playing all year with All the year long, last several years yeah, with a bum ankle. He has. It's that is true. Because he's yeah. older, 21 okay. years, all it's right. wear and tear. It's okay for him to go to the tunnel. It's okay. fine. Okay, it's fine with you. I, I just, I've called him on it for years, and I don't like it. I don't think his teammates love it either. I just don't think it, this is a unity thing. This is an all for one, one for all. And if you're the leader of the team, don't leave him twisting in the wind out there. Just don't, don't do that. Skip, the game's yeah. over. Well, no, it's 122 to 108, I'd say. The game yeah. is okay. over. Well, if he ain't playing on the court, yeah. They don't have a chance. He's done this in playoff games where he just, with four or five minutes left, he just walks to the locker room. It's over. Yeah? You like that? Is I that have leadership no, I have no problem with it. Man, I just don't. I have zero problem with it. I think you it. do. No, I do not. Hearts. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay. Just because right. Michael Jordan didn't do that doesn't mean he anything. He would never think about doing that. <laughs> you stay to the bitter end. You, you, you stay with your guys, right? No. Yeah. Not okay. when I'm hurt. If I need to go get attended to, I'm going and, and get my ice and get what I need to. The damn game is over with. Okay. All right. All right. So where do you go from here? Do you, do you, have you lost faith? No. You, no, no, you know? no, 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 no. I, 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 again, they got this eight-game stretch coming down the pipeline with the Bucks and the Timberwolves and the Kings and the Warriors. Go to Sacramento. That is Tough rough, stretch. Rough, rough. You mentioned Carl Anthony Towns yeah. being uh, gone, gone for, you know, I guess for the rest of the yes. season. Yes. Um, so... You got the Bucks. You saw what they looked like last night with Doc as they coach. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Timberwolves will probably look different. You go to the Kings, you got the Warriors. Those four games, you got three of four at home. Three of four of those at home. You do. Take care of that. But sometimes I trust this team as much away as I do at home, and I don't understand it. They don't seem to have a strong home court advantage to me. Uh, I would say that the home court advantage is slippery. Yeah. It's mixed. It is mixed. But they have an opportunity to make it right because they made it right against OKC. This was a team that they match up well against. They've beaten OKC three of the four times that they've played them. Yeah. This team in Sacramento is a bad matchup for whatever reason. For whatever reason that it's I can't... A bad, it's, it's, maybe, it's actually... maybe it's the coach, and Mike Brown knows how to coach against... The Lakers and their in, in LeBron and AD because he's been in the conference yeah. for so long. But when I watch De'Aaron Fox against the Lakers, he, he just looks like he's invincible, and his body language is like nobody can stop me. He loves to play the Lakers. Malik obviously loves to take it out on the Lakers, and yet when I watch those same two players against Golden State in the first round of the playoffs last year, they don't look like this. You, you know what I mean? Against because another Golden team. Golden State probably knows how to defend them yeah. and do certain things against it's them. Almost the, Lakers, like the Lakers, from a defensive standpoint, yeah. a guard position, we don't have anybody. I know you want Austin Reeves to well, be our no. shutdown. No. Uh, he's not uh, shut down, but he's been playing pretty well. Yeah, playing pretty well against a talent like this is yeah. not going to be good enough, Skip. Yeah. Well, the other night, we, remember, he blocked Jordan Poole's shot w when you were in trouble against the visiting Wizards. Remember that? Yeah, but yeah. but again, you're talking about De'Aaron Fox up against a guy who is a hard try guy. He's, he's got a, a lot of hustle. Try. No, he's mm -hmm. going and eventually mm -hmm. all of that energy. He's also sly and he's savvy. He's putting he, he, he out knows how to get there. But listen, De'Aaron Fox, I don't care who would have guarded him last night. LeBron in his prime, LeBron at age 22, you know, his first team all defensive player. I'm not sure he could have stopped De'Aaron Fox last night. De'Aaron Fox was just, he, he, it was like, give me the ball and get out of the way. Or as somebody well, once more I mean, said, was, give me the damn two, ball. He was, <laughs> right? he was two of six from three. Yeah. That, that you know, he didn't shoot that well. It's, it's all but, creating. But, oh, it's, but over yeah. the course of the game, <laughs> He dominated, but I, I attributed a lot of that, too, is the fact that he is a left-hander. Yeah. I, I am yeah, going to make that point, that sure. when you're not seeing people that often that shoot with the left hand, defensively, your angle okay, sometimes I, can be I got it. But wrong. I, I looked this up before yesterday's show because they had beaten you six out of the last seven times. He I averaged six of, six of seven. Six, I said now, seven se yeah. now it's seven of eight. Seven of eight. But, but over the six of seven... De'Aaron Fox had averaged 30 a game, 30 points. Well, that's yeah, like... Yeah, but the Lakers also, again, they don't have a guard yeah, okay. that can step up. And then you say, well, they can switch off on him and put somebody else on him. 
Now you're talking about putting somebody slower potentially on him. Maybe. See, or you're talking about I, putting somebody that could potentially I, be I think Jared, a defensive guy. I think guy. Jared Vanderbilt could bother him a little bit more, but he's taller and longer. But he's not, he's not there. Yeah, but, but I'm saying also, he's not there. But when you take certain guys off the court, they now become an offensive liability yeah. because of most people that just play pure defense can't score. Yeah. There's not a lot of two-way guys. This is yeah. not Clay Thompson from six years ago on, the, on your team. You know, you got a guy either he can shoot the ball and play a little hard hustle defense, or he can't shoot the ball and he plays defense. So now I'm missing scoring opportunities. So the Lakers have got to find that individual at the guard position if yeah. they plan on going long distance that can do both. You know, the weird thing is, I still can't write this team off. I, I can't just leave them no, in the dust. Going. We're all right. And yet, not yet. You know what? Yeah, you, right. You're going to wind up in the 10th seed. You know, yeah, in the we'll 10th be in spot. the play-in potentially but, with... But but if you're in the 10th seed, that means you right now you would have to go to Golden State in a one or go-home situation, right? Yeah. You, you'd have to go play one game at Golden State to advance. So who could be potentially the Suns, Golden State... Dallas. The Lakers. Sacramento. They're all, everybody's fighting in that and, group. But in the play-in, though... Yeah. Those. Those teams. Yeah. That'll be interesting that Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, and LeBron James yeah, I mean, playing in the play it's, it's like the West is upside down. But the Lakers' body language is like, we cool. You know, we, we, we're in 10th because they're five and a half games up on Utah to stay in the play-in. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. threat from behind yeah. to knock you they out of the They can't drop to 11. That, unless they just collapse, collapse. I mean, it's still mathematically possible. But I don't see it happening. Yeah, they're not, they not going to collapse, collapse. I All just right. need AD to play a little bit better. There five you of, go. 5 of 13 and, and giving up 20 it, boards ain't going to make me happy. He was low energy after the first quarter. All right, we got to talk Cowboys because an ex-Cowboy, Dalton Schultz, takes a shot at what we discussed yesterday, Cowboys culture that's next. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Do you want more highlights from the show? Make sure to click that subscribe button for all the exclusive content from Undisputed.